We all have our favorite neighborhood spot where everyone knows our name. I'm talking about Walmart, of course, where everyone knows your name if you're wearing a name tag. And if you're in the e-commerce business, you know how valuable the data behind Walmart products, prices, inventories, and reviews can be. The only issue is getting this data from the Walmart developer portal is a little bit cumbersome at best. So it seems that they've been converging on this Walmart IO website because everything seems to redirect there. And when you check out this platform, it looks pretty cool where you can access Walmart data that's public on the website with the API reference. But when you go to learn more, you see that yes, while it does offer an API behind products, reviews, inventories, and categories, when you actually want to use it with a quick start, it's not so quick. You have to do a whole lot of this public key uploading and using signatures in the headers, which is something I've never seen in another API before, making this extremely difficult to work with. But don't worry, you as an API consumer have a choice. There's this new product I found called Bluecart API, which is a missing API for Walmart data, which provides fast, reliable APIs for accessing Walmart product data, reviews, inventory, offer, and a few other items of interest if you're selling stuff online. And it's priced pretty reasonably with plans starting at under $10 a month. But you can see you can scale up to $45 a month for up to 10,000 requests to their API. In this video, we're going to be checking out their free version, which gives us 100 credits to evaluate the API. You just sign up with an email, confirm it, and you're in. And you'll see this API playground, which lets us fiddle around and make some requests using their API without writing any code. So here we can give this a try. We want to search for highlighter pens in this category ID for office supplies. And you'll see our API key up here if you'd like to use it outside of this playground, which we'll eventually do. And here are the results. And I should note that they're tailored to the zip code we put in 77001. And we can see information about the basic product, which will be the same regardless of the store. But the fulfillment option should be tailored to our zip code. And here under inventory, we'll see the inventory level for the best fulfillment option, which is walmart.com. They have 823 pens. Unfortunately, this doesn't seem to show the local store's inventory amount because I doubt they would have 823 individual pens stocked for this one model. And we can see a bunch of other search results here. These are just more highlighter pens we can check out if we're interested. But what if I want to learn more about this specific highlighter pen? Like if I want to see who else is selling this besides walmart.com and what their inventory levels and pricing are. So I can just copy this item ID here and under this drop down, I can change the type to offers. This will also work with reviews and product details, which we'll cover in this video. And I can send an API request and this will get me back all of the offers for that specific item ID. So we'll see a bunch here. Some are by walmart.com. Others are by other sellers and they say it's out of stock. You can also see information about the seller, including the email address, which may be very useful for some of you. Or you may just be curious to see how other sellers are pricing their offers compared to you. And to get product details or reviews, you just change the type here that accesses the endpoint and you'll get different information back about this item ID. But what if you have a large list of item IDs or you're trying to scrape an entire category? How can we get all this data in bulk? Well, Blue Cart has this collections feature which allows us to put in 15,000 different, say, item IDs and this will go and make all the requests for us in the background and then give us the results back. The only problem though is it doesn't actually combine the results together. We would just get a bunch of individual JSON or CSV files, which we could access through this one large zip file, but it would still be a pain to combine everything. So while I'm sure this is great for larger or more complex requirements with dedicated developers on their team who can unzip the zip file they give you and then go through all those individual CSV files and combine them all together or ingest them into a database, it can be a bit of a pain and burdensome if you're just a smaller company or just wanting to test this out and putting some few products into your own database or look at them in a CSV file. In the rest of this video, I'm gonna show you the Steve C data platform, which full disclosure, I happen to own and is a paid product, making the rest of this video basically an ad, but this platform will allow you to ingest a lot of data from the Blue Cart API into single CSVs meaning you can get an entire category of products in one big CSV file you can put into a database. You don't have to use the Steve C data platform. You're free to apply the concepts I show you or just watch for fun to get a better idea of how the Blue Cart API can help your business. This here is the Steve C data wrapper around Blue Cart. You just put in your API key from Blue Cart and this will go and access their API on your behalf 
but unlike blue cart, it will better aggregate the results. So we can go and scrape an entire category without writing any custom code or dealing with individual CSV or JSON files. So here we're doing what we did before. I'm going to put in the category ID, which you can get from search results like we looked at on the API. And they give you this hierarchy where they separate category IDs by underscores. So here I'm getting the more general office supplies category. And I can go and run this and this will query blue cart on my behalf with my API key using my credits and it will parse out the results. So instead of that big JSON list, I can actually look at this in a CSV file and load it into a database or do some analysis on it or even upload it to my own online store if I wanted a starting point for some products and details. So I can see that we picked up a lot of things from the Walmart API like product ratings and geez, that's a pretty big stock inventory level. Not sure if it's right or not, but it looks like walmart.com is pairing a lot of whatever this product is for 16 cents. We can also see other things like price and some times we have other sellers that are not walmart.com like in this case. If we scroll over, we can also see that it's a reduced price and we're actually saving a little bit of money here and that's why this person was picked as the best seller. So you can also use this data to find the stuff that's on sale if you're looking to save money. And here we can export in CSV file as promised and take a closer look at this data in Excel which is basically the same thing. The only thing I can notice here is that we're cut off at 40. And I know that there are a lot more office supplies on walmart.com than what I see here. So my next question is, well, how can we go and get the next page of results? And we can put in page two when query the API and get the next batch. And then we can export a CSV file, but that would be a little bit grueling because we would still have individual CSV files and have to find a way to combine them together. But luckily, this deep sea data platform is a workflow to do all this for us. The category products pagination workflow I can import here. And once imported, the instructions tell me to use category for the response type data. And I can just fill out the form normally and put in my API key. Here I put in category. And then for category ID, we're going to pick the office supplies one we used earlier. Again, with the instructions. So you can search for other products if you need to use different category IDs. And you can see this workflow here is pre-configured to auto paginate for us. So it's going to start with this category ID and then keep going through the pages until we get to the end, which could be a very long time. And I can also process multiple category IDs. If you have a list of categories you want to scrape Walmart products for, it'll do a separate pagination loop for each one. So I'm not going to do it right now because it'll take a long time. And here are my results. I see I have 640 different products in office supplies category. And here I cut it off after page 16 to save on my credits, but I could have kept going and got more and more products. And I can see the data here is in a CSV file, but it's all combined together into one big file now. So I can quickly upload this into a database or wherever it needs to go with ease. But I need more details. I want to go through all of these item IDs and look up specifics like all of the offers or all of the product details. So I want to take a list of item IDs and pass them in here and then get all the results combined together. What I can do on this CC data platform is import this workflow here that will allow me to do just that. Similar to the blue cart collections feature, but this will combine all the results together into big CSV files and it'll also get me multiple collections per workflow run. So I can get all the product specifications and images, product details, comments, etc. in different CSV files in one go instead of running multiple collection runs as I would need to in blue cart. And here I'm just going to put in product to specify I need product details run this workflow and it's going to go through all of my 12 items and look up the details, putting everything into big CSV files for me. And here they are. So I made 12 requests to the blue cart API and here I can see the requests and the Steve C platform combined everything into all these aggregate collections for me. So I can check out the product details and see what the base product details look like compared to my other CSV files. And they're pretty similar, but I see some additional fields like they give you the brand and even URLs to the brand and other pricing and availability information that seem to depend on the zip code if you provided. And what's also nice are these other collections here, like the product specifications. So each product has multiple specifications to it, like the color, the height, the manufacturer, etc. And we can see these key value pairs here. And we can also see for each row what the input item ID is from Walmart. On the right side is even more information about those specific items. And we can check out, pun intended, some of these checkout comments by their Walmart users. So I don't know why these may be useful, but they're kind of funny to read because some of them can be snarky. Well, I hope you learned a little bit about how to use the blue card API to get Walmart data. This is just a small sample of what you can do. So I encourage you to check out the links in the description to learn more about 
the blue cart API and check out some of the Steve C data wrappers that will allow you to get bulk CSV files out of their API easily. Please like if you learned something, let me know in the comments what other kind of integrations or use cases you have in mind for your business. Please subscribe to see me cover more APIs so you don't miss a useful API when I publish a video and stay amazing and stay data driven.